I would like you to imagine to be a baby fish. You're small like a rice grain, you're very cute, and you're happily drifting in the ocean. When you're about two weeks old, your body starts changing. You become strong, you grow functional fins. But most importantly, your instincts are telling you that it's time to move on and make the move to the place where grown-up fish live. It's time to go to the reef. But how to get there, right? You are far offshore and don't have a map. Well, thankfully, reefs are really noisy places. And because the noise of the reef propagates long distances offshore, you can simply follow this sound as a guide. So finally, following the sound of the reef, you get to destination. Settle in a beautiful reef and live happily. But there is a problem. Far away from you, humans are burning fossil fuels like crazy. Unfortunately for you, about a third of the carbon that humans are releasing in the atmosphere is dissolving in the ocean and changing its chemistry in a process called ocean acidification. During my PhD, I discovered that levels of ocean acidification like those expected by the end of the century can cause big, big problems to our marine friends. I discovered that baby fish can become disoriented and instead of being attracted by the sound of the reef as they should, they become deterred by that sound. So now imagine to be that baby fish at the end of the century. Ocean acidification is now interfering with the functioning of your brain and your instincts are telling you to go into the wrong direction. You're literally a fish lost at sea. You have little chances of survival and you will probably never reach dinner plate size. So going back to us, I want you to understand that what is at stake here is not just the life of a baby fish, but also our multi-billion dollar fishing industry, thousands of jobs and the livelihood of millions of people who rely on fish as the main source of proteins. Well, fortunately, it's not too late. And we can stop ocean acidification before it becomes too dangerous. All we need to do is to reduce carbon emissions and each one of you can help. I ask you to please listen to the science and start doing something that will ensure a bright future for the ocean, for the humankind and for our baby fish. This research is the most important thing I've ever been involved in. I'm doing my best, but I need your support to help me continue my work, attend conferences and engage with the general public. Thank you very much.